Thank you so much for staying with us. Now let's talk infertility. Doctors generally define infertility as not conceiving after 12 months of regular sexual intercourse without the use of birth control, which can be primary or secondary, either in male or female. Now joining us to discuss this issue is Dr. Abiola Akoni, a medical practitioner and also a herbal doctor at Double Doctor Herbal Clinic. Thank you so much for joining oh, us. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Of course, there is the general perception of infertility, but I'd mm. like to hear your definition mm -hmm. of infertility. Uh, infertility, you've already uh, defined it. That is just a simple word, but having a couple under the same roof for like uh, 12 months and uh, without any uh, medication or supplements and having a kind of sexual intercourse for a complete 12 months and they uh, are unable to conceive. That is, there will be a query to know why the couples are unable to conceive. Probably the challenges is from the male aspect or the female aspect. That is where you can probably query mm. infertility. But yes. there's a general perception that most times it's usually the female. How true is that? Yes, uh, that is the perception and the cultural belief, but it's not true. Because with the experience, we find out that at least almost 70% causes of infertility mostly from male. Wow. Yes. Yeah, you know, there are challenges and uh, environmental influence, mm -hmm. uh, lifestyles, habits. There are so many things involved when it comes to infertility. And uh, on female aspects, for a female that is having a regular menstrual flow and the female is uh, ovulating, meaning that for a female to have to ovulate and menstruate, meaning the egg is there, and that means she is at least 80% fatter. Mm -hmm on mm. that aspect of life in female. But in male, because we don't really focus on male aspect because of the beliefs we have in Africa. But the, that's why the portal of your awareness to know that male have the tendency to have a watery sperm, azospermia, oligospermia, those are the uh, scantle of sperm count, or the quality or the mm -hmm. dead sperms. And sometimes mm. deformity of shapes of the sperm. There's other involvement that when you see sperm shape, maybe there's some sperm without head or without tail. It's like a fish. <laughs> when, when you're having a fish and there's no head, you know, oh. the head is, the fish is not complete or probably Let's the tail has know. already cut off mm. or not active enough, not to swim actively to meet mm -hmm. the target. Those are the, what we'll be focusing on when it comes to infertility. We need to probably check where if it's the male that is having issues, that's where you send it for series of medical uh, Investigation. tests, investigations and their home tests also. When okay. it comes to her bar aspect, that probably a male can probably do a test with a cup of a cup of water. Well, we would get to all to of that, that. But, yes. but first, okay. let's look at uh, what causes infertility mainly. Uh, what causes infertility are so many, and uh, the major thing that control infertility is what we call hormones uh, imbalance. Imbalance, but when we say hormonal profile, that is uh, hormones are when we're talking about hormones, we talk about uh, estrogen, prolactin. Uh, Lutilizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone. These are hormones that regulate every aspect of uh, reproductive system in female, also in male. Okay. Those hormones, both male and female, just that is high in female because the production and what uh, activities a female is expected to do mm -hmm. are more than male because the same hormones con uh, control the, uh, the the shape of the breast, the the female sh uh, genital uh, shape of a female, the ovulation the menstrual flow, the maturity of those eggs, and breastfeeding, mm. and the pregnancy. You know, there are different involved when it comes to, but there are stages. In male also, is this the same hormones that contributes to have uh, erection when male has uh, erectile dysfunction, and for them to have a uh, stamina uh, libido, that is uh, for them to stand all right, and they are to increase their libido, sexual urge, all those things are there, and uh, for having active sperm and having this urge to have sex as many as they, they want. If there's a problem with the hormonal imbalance in male too, that male will be able to lose what we call erection. And that's why you're having a problem of er erectile dysfunction. That means a man may have the urge to have sex, but he doesn't have the stamina to wow. maintain the erection. Okay. Um, yes. uh, I mean, the, the, the talk of, um, there's the talk of um, primary and secondary you know, um, infertility. infertility. So, you. 
Can you kindly elucidate so that our viewers can understand what does primary infertility mean? What does secondary infertility mean? Yes, when we're talking about primary infertility, primary infertility is in, in a question whereby the lady or the couples have not even experienced pregnancy in their lifetime. Oh, a lady may be okay. 20 years, 30 years, what will tell you, have not even experienced a pregnancy even for a week or two weeks. Some lady will tell you in school days, in social life, at least. I've taken like two, three, but I did abortion or I used pills. Those are secondary, okay. meaning that she has experienced pregnancy before, mm. one way or the other, maybe with X or all those things. But primary is that this lady has been having sexual intercourse for years, but he has not. Mm, not so at what point should a couple be worried? Uh, that is what infertility, anything from four, 12 months, one year, mm. that you are under the same roof. Not that we are not talking about distance relationship, whereby the husband is working in Badon, or in Abuja comes in once in a while within that 12 months. But under the same roof for good 12, mo 12 months and having sexual, engaging sexual intercourse. And uh, how yeah. often should be sexual intercourse? Be? Sexual intercourse is like when you are asking me, how often should I eat? It depends on the heart, it depends on sexual mm -hmm. activeness of individual, and it depends on the broad top or exposure when it comes to sexual intercourse. Okay. But but on the average, average mm, depends probably uh, between six. Six to eight times in a week. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, l looking at infertility now, I mean, for you know, you've talked about some of the um, causes, you know, hormonal um, imbalance yes, and infection, all of that, infections fibroid, and the rest of them. Two blockages. Okay. Two minutes. That, that, for the men, um, that's for mostly for the women. Yes. For, for the men, let, let's look at for the men as well because this is a broad topic. Yes. We're just trying to, to yes. you know, summarize as quickly as possible for the men. Co major causes of um, infertility? Uh, for the male, major causes of infertility is uh, chronic infections okay. and uh, history of uh, surgery, post surgery, and maybe poor management okay. or accidents hmm. or drug abuse. Smokers, alcoholic, okay. person that takes uh, and people that work in an industrial environment yeah, dealing right. with equipment, especially like, heat. 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 Exposure That's, to radiation. Uh, exposure to radiation. People that work in the factories that probably mix of chemicals mm -hmm. and people that make use of a long time wearing pints. You find that these days men don't wear pints almost. At least I can say maybe seventy <laughs> percent put on box sacks. Mm -hmm. Not then when we are small that we have to wear tight pints because mm -hmm. those tight pints allow the test to uh, share the same temperature with the body okay. temperature and kills the sperm. Oh. And uh, that is a um, long time uh, long distance drivers. Okay. Oh. Drivers are, I mean, interstate drivers, mm. or yes, the prolonged driving affects the the production and the effect of an abuse of drugs. Okay. People are people that take uh, steroid drugs may have to build their muscles mm -hmm. or certain uh, drugs to build their system. And people that use uh, stimulants okay. because sometimes when you take certain stimulants for a long time, there may be side effect of that stimulant that without the drug, your body cannot really be okay. active or perform. Okay. I, I, I'd like us to focus on how double doctor herbal clinic comes in. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, let's talk about ovulation. Yeah. I know that's a key factor Maybe when it comes factor. to reproduction yes. for the female. Let's talk about ovulation. Uh, what we're talking about ovulation is very, very important. Even not even on fertility, but on every female. With experience, we find out that even with the married women, at least almost 60, 70 percent doesn't even know how to track the ovulation and what mm -hmm. ovulation is all about. Mm -hmm. It's one of the key things we all need to always educate couples when it comes to infertility. Ovulation is when you can track your egg. It's like when, a, let me use the word fowl, lay an egg, but if the fowl is not on that egg, the egg will not be able to mature hatch. enough hatch. Thank you. That's why when there are females that have eggs, um, having immature egg, mm -hmm. and there are certain things that are responsible for immature egg, that's when it comes when you do a series of tests or counseling, be able to know that, we have the lady has the egg, but it's not matured. And if the egg is not matured, even if there's an active sperm touching the egg, it can't probably produce anything because the eggs are not fully matured to a starting state that a sperm can do what hurt mm. on them. Meaning that uh, there are days and varies when it comes to ovulation. There are, uh, there are females that have uh, that's, that's where the cycle of menstrual cycle comes in. If you are 28 day cycle, 30 day cycle, we, that's what we call short cycle and long cycle some females fall on short cycles those are people that have 21 days 22 days sometimes having menstrual flow twice in a month to some female is not a problem mm. to some female they will tell you yeah, doctor i'm having my flow every 
twice in a month. Uh, it's not regular. But if you're having a short cycle, it, it happens once in a while that you can have it. Maybe if you are 20 days cycle, if possible, you have your flow at the first of the month and towards the end of the month, yeah, you, have another another you have another one. one. Mm -hmm. Meaning that it now depends on the cycle that determines ovulation days. Mm -hmm. People that have short cycle uh, having their ovulation earlier. People that have long cycle having their ovulation in later. A, later. Mm -hmm. That means you need to now know your cycle. You need mm -hmm. to now know your ovulation. And when I'm not talking about ovulation again, how active the ovulation is all about is when we are talking about how uh, erectile or uh, erection, mm -hmm. the stamina of erection in man also. Ovulation can come in and stay for two hours. So can stay for 24 hours, so can stay for three days. It now depends on how active the hormones are mm. and how many eggs this woman is producing on a cycle. Mm. But sometimes, you know, you have you can see dogs are having a baby of maybe three, four. Mm -hmm. That means in female too, it's expected every cycle, every month, to have more than one egg. Mm. Yeah, and it's possible if your right or left tube is ovulating at the same time, you may have two eggs on the right side, have another egg on the meaning that. The three eggs have to ovulate, have to hatch, you understand? Mm. Meaning that if the man is lucky to meet up the right one or mistakenly meets up the... <laughs> in that that's why we do the tracking for them. We okay. try to educate them mm. on how the tracking is all about. And it's all about when you're talking about infertility, you have to be having sex all the time. It's to track when mm. to have sex and the dates. I know the doctors have talked, especially mm. gynecologists, have talked about how to calculate yes. your ovulation, ovulation period. Talking about the division and yes. the 14 day 12 you know, days, 10 calculation. days. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I'm saying now. If a female that is a uh, 21 days or 22 days cycle, meaning that, that the days will be like around 6 days, 7 days. And under experience, we always have some people that have a longer menstrual flow. It's possible you are menstruating and you are ovulating. For people that have short cycle, mm -hmm. for people that have long cycle, there will be timing, mm -hmm. spacing because you will menstruate and later because your ovulation is going to be longer. That means your flow has already ended. stopped, ended yes. before you. But people that have a short cycle will always fall sometime the day the flow is finished, about to finish or during that menstrual flow. Mm -hmm. And people like that find it difficult to conceive because African mentality, we are not even African, is not probably norm. To be having sex when the woman is menstruating, menstruating, menstruating. That's why people, couples like that will find it difficult to conceive because by the time they are touching, the, the ovulation has already what passed. passed. But but how true is this fourteen-day calculation where they say you subtract fourteen mm -hmm. fr from your menstrual cycle and then you'll be able to target your ovulation period? Uh, yes, uh, it's not for everybody. That is like oh, you're saying the outro. Uh, am I okay with a cup of tea or am I okay with it? And that depends on individual. That's what we're trying to you know, the cycle and the hormones. Okay. Yes. Well, averagely, we found out that females fall on 28 days mm -hmm. cycle. Mm -hmm. And if 28 days cycle, with that 14 days, is okay for people like that. Mm -hmm. 28 okay. days, 30 and days 30 cycle. 30 days and more. Yeah. Okay. Now, now let, we've talked about, I mean, the, the challenges or the causes. Let, let's look at, you know, solutions because okay. it's one thing to talk about the child, um, causes. We mm. also need to look at the solutions for infertility. For someone like you who is versed in terms of the medical aspect and the herbal aspect, yes. this is where Double Doctor comes, comes in. in. So yes. um, let, let's start quickly with the medical aspect. In terms of solutions to some of these issues of infertility, what are they before we move to that of the herbal? I think yes. he is going to focus on herbal. Uh, I'll do that. 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 On that medical aspect is uh, at least uh, is is what we've been trying to analyze now. Mm -hmm. It's just to get a, uh, at least to counsel the couples to know what are the challenges. Is your menstrual normal? Is your ovulation normal? Do you hope we don't have uh, fibroid? We we'll okay. send it for test. At least they do it. The, the male will do a semen analysis and culture, mm -hmm. urine analysis and culture and uh, blood culture to trace if there's an history of infection right. and to doing counseling to find out what that background lifestyle of the both male and female are they on what kind of job are they doing what kind of lifestyle are they excess uh, alcoholic intake or smokers or are they on medical on some medical disorders mm -hmm. that may affect the hormones in the body when you do all this counseling and uh, uh, medical uh, investigations to know we send them for those tests and tests will come out to give us the background, the basic factor about if he's the male that we need to focus on or is oh, the female. female. That okay. is the medical aspect. Mm. From there, if and the treatment has commenced and find that it's not very advisable or it depends on the diagnosis that will not determine the kind of 
treatment. choice of treatments. Mm. Okay. Probably they have to go for IU high. Probably they have to go for IVF. Mm. Probably they have to go for surrogates. Probably they have to go probably a donor. It okay. now depends on if you may have a donor, a may have a donor. Mm. It depends on that diagnosis that will not determine. And I'm not talking about the uh, herbal oh, aspect. Yes. Before we talk about the herbal aspect, can we also, do, you mentioned hormonal imbalance yes. earlier. What causes hormonal imbalance? The causes of hormonal imbalance majorly is infection. Okay. And uh, when we're talking about lifestyle, you know, people that take steroid drugs, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. when you take anything and but that changes your body system, meaning that the side effect of that will change your hormones. Okay. And uh, for that's for male and also for female. No, for females. The males have hormonal imbalance. Yes. 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 Oh, okay. yes. Yeah, well, I mean, meaning that, but for females, why hormonal imbalance is common in them is because of their monthly cycle okay. and sometimes uh, engaging some female, uh, mostly engaging when it comes to supplements. Okay. You know, my friend is taking things for skin. This one is <laughs> taking it for bobs. This one is taking this for that. I want to slim down. I want to do this. Meaning that those drugs are effective but they have side effects mm. okay. in, some, in some cases and another uh, factor when it comes to fertility is age factors because uh, medically by the time a female is getting to age 35 directly indirectly the hormones decreases meaning that the body is preparing for pre what we call premenopause pre okay. okay and by the way when a female is getting to 40 and that's why we find out that infertility cases is alarming in our community everywhere mm. because of the educational background family background that everybody have to have your you have to have your masters mm -hmm. you have to finish your schools mm -hmm. and we find out that her mothers in 20s we have a female that married at age of 18 having 10 children eight children four five children it's very difficult to see a female having maybe four kids now present in our mm -hmm. because all that thing has already okay so let's look at the herbal treatment mm. now for infertility. Yes, the herbal treatment is just like a way of detox, and uh, mm. uh, it depends on the the way our forefathers have been practicing. It's like when we're talking about how do we take our uh, ogu or the kaikon, a we do, how do we prepare our herb vegetables? There are all these uh, uh, fruits and uh, leaves. Mm -hmm. Had this medicinal content of different species, okay. and uh, when that's why when you have some leaves, you can see the flavor. Even when you are, if we have a leaf in this room now, you can say oh, this is a uh, scent leaf, this is this leaf, this is from there. You can perceive the odor, meaning that when you use certain that leaf for a perfume, it's going to come out well. When you use that, uh, that certain leaf for certain things, the research and cultural background as, uh, and the uh, theories as back it up that there are certain. Medic medicinal value from our roots, our seed, and what we make use of. Those that in our field on when it comes to fertility, we try to know what the problem is all about. Like if we, uh, there's what we call um, sperm leakages that Yoruba calls EDA. That's one of the cult in, in, in fertility in Yoruba. Mm -hmm. Is when a female, after sexual intercourse, the sperm pulls back immediately. But medically, it's not that maybe every sperm have to stay. Mm -hmm. Not all sperm have to stay. They have to mm -hmm. be a kind of drawback. Mm -hmm. But by the time this thing now constant on frequent basis that a couple now observe that after even lying down for 30 minutes, one hour, the sperm is still coming back. Meaning that they'll call it internal heat mm -hmm. in, your, in, in tradition. Probably a woman is suffering from inter, uh, internal heat, hotness of the womb, or sometimes infection. That's where there are some other concussion will come in that is... Uh, being researched and approved to detoxify the womb, to get the tubes clear, and uh, to prevent that sperm okay. leakages, like sperm coming out, or if they find out that the, the content of the sperm, the color or the texture of the sperm is not as thick as it is, probably please, <coughs> there are other supplements that are used on that aspect. Mm. And uh, with uh, experience on both sides, the, the gift of nature is what we've already uh brown when we talk about browning they mm -hmm. journey to paracetamol ampiclos ciprota flosacin it's still the same the genesis of all this stuff is our the natural herbs. thing is from herbs mm. okay. that's how we get chinese have european herbs it's just that the pharmaceutical companies are us to package it up and do a research to know what are the side effects mm. that's why there is no content of 
uh, orthodox medicine that mm -hmm. will give you a complications, complications. and uh, side effects okay. and yes uh, contraindications what are when you take it what are things to that it goes basically to herbs content, content. Of, okay. so Qu how quickly, does okay uh, sorry um, um quickly you, you, earlier you, while you were talking about you know herbs treatment you talked about edda in your bad yes you yeah, know, that the, spam leakages yes spam leakages in yeah. women and you said uh it had to do with over no which is like internal heat oh, yes, so the question would be can that be a factor when it comes to infertility? Yes. That um, the, if a woman feels um, so much heat inwards, inside, yes. then that causes the sperm to leak out. Leak out. Does that affect the mobility of the sperm? Yes. Internal heat. Yeah, internal levels. heat. I'll just give you an example. As if okay. have a, for probably people using the gas in the kitchen, you know, your gas cooker, and uh, you have a, a bowl of butter or uh, cheap butter close to the stove or the gas. Melt. It will melt immediately. So if if the atmosphere is too hot, maybe scorching, um, scorching heat of the sun, and the woman is really hot, yes. even after a sexual encounter, yes. the heat would cause that. To, the heat oh, will cause okay. that. It will melt down. That's why the internal heat comes in. And uh, it, that is majorly because of infection. And uh, if a woman is having bloated tummy, and uh, if there is a what we call eju, that is fibroid. Okay. There mm. are so many things. That's another big issue. Another big issue there. We we'll 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 pick them one after one the other. One after the other. Each of it. Fibroid, uh, uh, two blockages, and uh, probably uh, post surgery. Sometimes a female has already maybe done some surgeries in the past, and those are mm. involved. Right. And uh, maybe. Oh, we're talking about genotype compatibility also. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have to now know if... So, genotype also affects fertility? Yes. Wow. Yes, sometimes. Because that's why, and uh, you... In those days, that's why the rate of this uh, stillbirths okay. was uh, being rampant then and miscarriages. Meaning okay. that sometimes there may be a resource factor of negative positive in both couples. Couple. Meaning that affecting the progress of the pregnancy. Wow. Sometimes the pregnancy can take in... After some weeks or some months, the female has miscarriage. And by that, I will tell you, I've been having miscarriage for the past maybe more than five times. You have to query why she's having these miscarriages. Mm. From there, you need to know, is it the service is very weak or is leaking? Or is there any other conditions affecting that? Okay. Mm. Yes. So how does Double Doctor Herbal Clinic come to the aid of anyone seeking this uh, fertility? Uh, fertility help yeah the why double doctor come is is that uh, i was born and brought up in a family of a uh, harbor practitioner that uh, i don't want to mention the name that well known in this mm -hmm. country that we've been a pioneer when it comes to harbor productions and uh, lancens and napdac approval of different products when it comes to herbs i was brought up from my primary school secondary school that is one of the key factor that give me the opportunity for me to further more at least to get into medical practice go to school to understand more to now find the similarities and how to i just have the feelings of helping at least caring for people mm. it's given opportunity when you care it's all about money it's all about the feelings people give you back and they'll be happy i like looking at you as a small god mm. you know when god is using you because it's, a, it's sometimes a gift because uh, i can probably is is a dream come true, but uh, there is this, uh, uh, what is it, commitment that I probably put in to achieve this because it's a long time dream mm -hmm. that at least I'm uh, able to have a clinic. I'm mm -hmm. At least I'm still working on it. I have to have a very big, large clinic sure, that is going to be mm -hmm. double doctor that, and it will be government approved that in that clinic you able to apply orthodox medicine and traditional medicine at the same time having a very good effect for her. Uh, so being a professional yes. in both medical and uh, traditional. herbal traditional medicine, yes. which would you say is more effective? Uh, medical is more effective. And the reason is that uh, there are equipments. There is a broad specialty that you can call a consultant. You can have an idea, idea and you understand it's more. And then when, we, when, we, when I'm talking about uh, first aid or emergency, mm -hmm. you can't compare medicals to herbal mm, because okay. the factor when it comes to health issues is first aid first every other management follow the first aid mm. when there's a crisis and uh, maybe in the case of maybe a prolonged labor a woman has been in labor for five years and then in those days maybe a upper concussion or some
social something mm -hmm. they have to do that maybe the baby will come out but it's possible the baby comes out and cause more complications mm. the woman may bleed to death or the baby may be deformed maybe by forcing the baby out by having deformity of the hand or fractures but when medical comes in you can probably do a cesarean section a cs mm. and probably put the woman on sleep if within 30 minutes the baby is out the mother is happy the baby is alive, alive. without any complication without any stress on that baby mm. there are so many things or oh, somebody is having maybe a shock you know? there are ways that that's how about is the genesis okay. we're talking about maybe religion maybe mm. we're talking about bible or quran but how do you now modify the bible or the quran mm. that's what orthodox medical okay. has done when it comes mm. to it management okay um we'll, we'll continue this conversation we just need to take a very short break now and um, when we'll go on a commercial break one we'll return we'll continue the conversation with dr akone abiola please to stay with us Thanks for staying tuned. Yes, so Dr. Abiola, um, for the about treatment, I mean, for some of these infertility issues, the, the question some people ask is, um, are there different herbal treatments for each specific, you know, um, infertility disorder? For example, um, erectile dysfunction, you talked about hormonal imbalance, you know, do yes. we have... Yes, uh, the same way that applies to orthodox medicine is the same way in ABA. Okay. There are specific treatments and uh, ABA supplements for different... Uh, issues a male that has erectile dysfunction there are other supplements that works on that to correct the erectile dysfunction mm -hmm. and uh, a male that has a as a sperm is zero percent of yes. sperm count that there are treatments on that that is going to be a long time treatment to build if there is no complete damage to the yes. testes mm -hmm. family that will have to bring you back and the uh, oligospermia when there is counting sperm count mm -hmm. there are treatment they are different and on female also when a female is having a seedling fibroid, that's why it's advisable to do your checkup at early stage. Okay. When you're having a seedling fibroid, it's better well managed and well treated. But by the time you are now having multiple max fibroid, mm. whereby the, the weight of the fibroid is not getting bigger, it's possible you may not have a total okay. uh, dissolve of that fibroid that you have to pass through surgery. surgery. Yes. And uh, two blockages or sometimes um, a lack of ovulation. There are mm -hmm. different specific treatments on each. But we, in, our, in our center, what we do is that we do a very medical investigation to be sure, sure. that taking a uh, concussion or taking mix of anything, okay. don't do that. You don't have to show what we are treating for us to have the target and to, for us to have our goal. Okay. That is not mixing up or buying or self medications self -medication. or buy herbs okay. on the roadside, roadside or yeah. go to on, on, on uh, experts, professionals to take those treatments. You have to do your test in a well standard laboratory. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yes. And you know, result with it. Okay. one yeah. of the challenges that uh, medical practitioners have against herbal medicine yes. is the fact that it's not, there's no dosage, mm -hmm. there's no proportion management when it comes to the intake of all these herbs. How do you manage that? Uh, that was then, but now uh, the, uh, the Ministry, the Health, uh, Ministry of Health has already come in. They have, they have a board that the Ministry of Health on the, that the traditional medicine is under Ministry of Health, that all this regulation has been there. And with the uh, experience and the practice for mm -hmm. years, we've already known how to the gauge and the dosage has become in there. Now we can have herbal uh, drugs or supplements in capsules, in okay. syrups, yeah, okay. in oh. tablets. Okay. You understand? Great. Yes. Even in spray. There are so many, there are wow. many goods. Probably like samples, it's just that the the Af our African mentality or the country we found ourselves, they have, the government has not put this commitment towards it. When you see all these products you see everywhere, you see maybe all these uh, normal products, uh, NGO, they do uh, mm -hmm. people empowering people. Mm -hmm. I don't want yeah. to mention any name, you know, they do all those things like mm -hmm. that. You find out that they are basically the herbs. Okay. Herbs, they are just supplements from fruits and roots mm. that are very, very effective and uh, doesn't have a. Uh, Side, side effects, effects as a very mild side effect because mm. they're just like our food. It's like a replacement of lost deficiency in the body. Mm. Mm. And when we're talking about even drugs, when we talk about drugs and the, uh, the reaction of drugs in our system, the drugs are not changing any organ in our body. Mm -hmm. It's just that they are trying to stimulate mm. the organ to perform. The kidney is so, yes, the kidney is just for us to urinate 
and detox those and everything. That means when you take a supplement that helps your kidney, that detoxify the kidney from dirty things, makes it decline to do what? To function. That's it's yes. Wow. If a liver is going to be, you, are, you have a fatty liver and you take exercise and fatty food, when you take drug, is that maybe he's going to go and screen the fibroid or the, it's just to detox the fibroid to perform well. It's like having a phone and your battery is getting low and you charge the battery. All you have, you have a full mm. battery mm. for you to function your phone when those are effects of when it talks about orthodox medicine or other medicine, what they do is just to give adequate signal to that organ or that function mm. for you to enjoy it perfectly. Okay. Let's have your details, your contact yes. details for those who might want to reach out to you. Uh, I'm, uh, we are Facebook and uh, my phone number is 80 3360 You want to take that again slowly? 80 Three three six zero two three zero eight. Okay, and on Facebook. On Facebook, uh, Double Doctor Haba Clinic. You can just Google or Google Dr. Uh, Dr. Abiola. That is Dr. Abiola or Akoni Abiola on Facebook. Mm. Double Doctor or even on Instagram. How okay. about your Double contact Doctor. address? Uh, I'm at uh, thirty nine Adequate Street, Mango Express Bus Stop, Ikeja. Okay. okay. That is the only okay. Yes. Just take it one more time, please. The address. The address. 39 Adequedu Street, Mangoro Express Bus Stop, Ikeja at Onipetes Estate. All okay. right. Thank I think that's much. a good place to leave it. Thank mm -hmm. you so yes. much for enlightening us on the issue surrounding infertility. Thank you. Man. Thank you so much. All right. We've Thanks. been speaking with Dr. Abiola Akoni, a medical practitioner and a herbal uh, doctor at double doctor have our clinic he's been talking to us about infertility and the way out we'll take a break when we'll come back we'll delve into other issues please stay with us <laughs>